This is Howie. In this video, we're going to be talking about measurement using a meter stick to measure in meters and centimeters. First, let's get acquainted with this tool. This is called a meter stick, not to be confused with a yard stick, which is about a crayon's length shorter. And you can tell it's a meter stick because those numbers running along it begin at zero and reach all the way up to 100. And those numbers, those are called centimeters. That root word, centi, means hundredth. And just like there are 100 cents in a dollar, there are 100 centimeters in a meter. Now let's start using the meter stick to measure the distance an object travels in meters and centimeters. In the image displayed, a marble is about to be released down the ramp. Let's find out how far it goes. Now we are ready to measure using the meter stick. To begin, make sure you are using the side with the centimeters on it, going from 0 to 100. The opposite side may have inches, ending around 39. Next, line the zero of the meter stick up with the starting point of what is being measured. Eh, let's make sure the meter stick is always flat along the ground. If the object being measured is longer than one meter, mark the end of the meter stick with a piece of tape or a sticker and then slide the meter stick down. Repeat as necessary. Our object, and in this case the marble, is less than one meter away, so let's zoom in and figure out how many centimeters away from the last marking it is. The center of the marble looks to be between 53 and 54 centimeters, but it's a touch closer to 53, so we're going to say it's 53 centimeters away from the last marking. If we wanted to be really precise, we could use those little lines between the centimeters. Those are called millimeters, but we're going to hold off on using those for right now. To find out the total distance the marble traveled, let's count up all of our markings. One meter plus one meter plus 53 centimeters. We can write that as 2 meters, 53 centimeters, but you might want to work with only one unit. That will make your life easier when you're doing any sort of computation. Using only the unit centimeters, we could write 253 centimeters. Using only the unit meters, we could write 2.53 meters. If you think about it like money, where you might see $2.53, in this case it's like 2 meters 53 centis. In both cases, that 0.53 or 53 hundredths means 53 out of 100 parts needed to make a whole. Now it's your turn. Use a meter stick to precisely measure the following items. Pause the video while you complete task 1 and task 2, then press play to check your work. The meter stick looks to be between 8 and 9 centimeters. So we will call the answer 108 centimeters or 109 centimeters, depending on which you thought it was closer to. It is okay if your answer is 1 centimeter or 2 centimeters or even 3 centimeters different from these answers. Slight differences in measurements are common and acceptable. The length of the paper is about 2.24 meters. Once again, it is okay if your answer is slightly different. 